This is a Sutotal production. Alright, hello surveyors. So this is going to act as our third video for chapter one practice. This one's not going to be too long. Um, here we're just looking at different ways we can classify um, certain things. I'm just going to go with things generically. Um, but what we're looking at here is can you identify something as, a, can you differentiate between them being an element or a compound? And um, you know, from there, right, can you even differentiate whether uh, they're a mixture, whether they're heterogeneous or a homogeneous mixture? All right, so um, the way we really want to think about this element, the element portion is going to be the simplest that we can see, right? It's, it literally looks like one atom, almost, right, on paper anyway. It looks like one atom of only one thing right um and then you know compound is where you're going to have like two or more of some of either one element or a bunch of different elements also okay um and then from there mixtures are even more complicated right because mixtures usually require that you're going to have at least two compounds and based off what those look like, those mixtures look like after the fact, is going to tell you whether they're homogeneous or heterogeneous. So if it's homogeneous, it looks uniform throughout, right? It, it kind of looks the same consistency. Um, if it's, if that, I, I think I said that was homogeneous, because that's homogeneous, uniform throughout. Heterogeneous, heterogeneous is where you're going to actually see like different regions of it look very, very different. That's why kind of the example for heterogeneous in the slides is when you look at like a, a chocolate chip cookie. Right, so because you can see the chocolate chips as something very distinct and unique from the rest of the cookie, right? The batter and all that stuff. So, all right, here we go. So our first one says spring water, or AKA bottled water. All right, so hopefully if you've ever looked at the ingredients list on a bottle of water, there's more in there than just H2O, right? There's usually some type of salt or ions or you know electrolytes, as they like to say. So. Um, this is not an element because it's water. Water is H2O, but also it's not a, just a single compound because there's more than just H2O. Uh, there's usually like sodium chloride in there or, or whatever other electrolyte that could be in there. So this is a mixture, and I'm assuming that you're going to look at that bottle of water, and if you see stuff floating in it or kind of moving around in there, you're not going to drink that bottled water. So you're, you're going to want something that looks crystal clear, you know, uniform throughout. So we would consider this a homogeneous mixture, all right? I'm just going to put homogeneous mix for short. All right, here it says we have a bar of pure gold, right? Gold is an element, and it's pure gold. It's a bar of pure gold. So all it is is just gold. So it's not a compound. It's not a mixture. So this is going to be what we would call the element, okay? Um, here we see H2SO4. So we see the element hydrogen, the element sulfur, and the element oxygen present. Um, and it, it's pretty much just giving us this formula. So based off that, this has three separate elements in it. So we wouldn't classify this as an element. The most likely scenario is that we would classify this as a compound. All right. Um, in order for this to be a mixture, we would say like H2SO4 uh, dissolved in water. Right. And at that point, that would become a mixture. Okay. Um, here we have Lysol disinfecting spray. So, you know, the stuff that comes out of a little can. Um, and that's pretty uniform, right? You So, it, it's Lysol has a bunch of stuff in it. Okay, so um, it's definitely a mixture. It's not just one compound. It's multiple compounds. Um, and so, what we would expect is that, that Lysol disinfecting spray would be a homogeneous mixture. Because if it wasn't, then it wouldn't come out a little spray bottle that easily, right? Like, if there was stuff floating around in it, then... Wouldn't it clog up the little sprayer? So anyway, um, next up we have a puddle of mud. All right, and so the way I would the way I would say looking at this puddle of mud, right? We know there's water in there because it's a puddle, but it's mud, so it's got dirt. So it's definitely some type of mixture. It's not just one compound; it's multiple things in there. But think about what happens with a puddle of mud. If you if you you know jump in that puddle, the dirt gets kicked up and stirred up. And then when you walk away and you don't disturb that puddle, what happens? All that dirt settles. So this is, to me, I think of the puddle of mud is in fact a 
heterogeneous mixture because that those dirt particles can settle back down. So I would consider this a heterogeneous mixture. Okay. All right. Next we have uh, F2. All right. Now this is saying that that's fluoride, but it's saying there's there's this thing right that has two fluorines in it. Okay, so right off the bat, it's not just an element. This is technically considered an elemental form, but it's two atoms together to give you a compound. So this is, I would consider this the compound. Okay, um, here you have Ne, that's neon, right? And you notice it's just one element, right? There's no twos, no threes, no, no other number there. So this is definitely an element. Here we have NaBr, so sodium bromide. Um, and for this, right, this is just a salt, okay? Um, but it's two separate elements present, so it's just like the H2SO4 before. We would definitely consider this a compound. All right, uh, for I, it says the air in our atmosphere, right? So the air in our atmosphere. I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that um, if we just think about it in terms of it's nothing but the gases in our atmosphere, you know, there's a lot of different gases there, and I think you should all be aware of at least two of them, oxygen and carbon dioxide, right? We breathe in the oxygen, we breathe out carbon dioxide, but there's also nitrogen. Um, you know, if, if the atmosphere is dirty, you know, there's smog and all kind of pollution in the air as well. So, but, you know, uh, on a clear day, right, our atmosphere, we can see straight through it very transparently. So what I would assume here is that our atmosphere is uniform throughout in, in that logic of my thinking. So I would say that it is a homogeneous mixture, okay? All right, uh, next up we have CH3CH3. This is actually called ethane, right? But ethane has both carbons and hydrogens in it. And so this isn't just an ele one element, it's multiple elements. So I would consider this also a compound, okay? And then lastly, we have Fe, that stands for iron. Um, and you notice all, it's just one iron is, is mentioned here. So I would assume that this is the element, right? Okay, so um, hopefully that's that's enough practice for you kind of seeing how things can um, be presented to you that maybe you can figure this out on your own. All right, um, until next time, adios, surveyors.